Okay, so it's time for yet another video. So what do we have here today? Well, to start with, OTA support, check. Custom phones, check. 90 FPS in BGMI, check. Better material you theming, check. And insane benchmark scores too, check. So this is nameless ROM for the OnePlus Nord. And let's see how it can provide a better experience to the now old yet still new OnePlus Nord. Anyways, before we get to that, please make sure to tap on that subscribe button and press the bell icon if you haven't already. It's free and will keep you updated with all the latest videos from the channel. And in case you wish to watch this video in Hindi language, here is a card to the BitTech Hindi channel. First up, this is the fully stable version of this room. So there are OT updates available in settings just like on the Oxynos and some other rooms. So you don't have to worry about future updates and it even has the option to install the update manually just in case you want to. And I feel this is something that should be there on all rooms as of now. So on that note, let me start off with the benchmark scores first. So on Geekbench, the revised scores as high as 608 in single core and around 1912 in the multi-core score, which is really good and among the best scores that I've seen till now. And on the similar note on the Antutu, 2, the revised scores around 4,8,000 points, which is really nice and something for the brands to have a look on while they deliver all the buggy updates. As most of the devices now are way more capable than they used to be, though you should never rely on these scores as a standard to measure the performance, as there is more to it, obviously. And yes, I'll bring a similar video on this room for the OnePlus 8 series as well, so stay tuned for the same. Now starting off with the lock screen and fingerprint scanner as usual, so it all looks nice and similar to other rooms that are based on Android 12. And yes, the fingerprint scanner here works like a charm and is quite responsive so far. But you can make some changes and make it look even more minimal if you want to. So just in case you don't like that big circle around the fingerprint scanner, you can now remove it and it's a good add-on in my opinion. The launcher that we get here as expected is the Pixel launcher that looks clean and has better material use support with many of the third-party applications. And overall it works very well too on the 90Hz refresh rate. You also get all the Pixel series features including all the wallpapers and that unlimited photos backup at storage saver quality. So you don't need to worry about that as well as it can be disabled too. That's a good thing I guess. You also get the OnePlus camera inbuilt with this one which works fine for normal images and the videos and you can record videos at 1080p or 4k. Though some of the camera modes like Nightscape are crashing as of now and I don't think that's a deal breaker and you can always use a Gcam to take better images which I'll link below the like button as well. You obviously get the material you theming with the new themed icons as well and all that looks fine but as an added bonus you can tweak all the colors and their levels to a great extent. Which brings me to this dark mode which you can attain just by tweaking a couple of settings. And it looks great as usual. So you can tweak the theming engine as per your liking in the display settings. Also we get the features like universal search bar in the app drawer where you can search your chats, messages, contacts and much more. And it also works fine as well. Other than that there are features like the three finger screenshot and one handed mode and they also work as they should. And there is a ton of customization for various stuff here. Though it is not present in a specific area, but you can see them in settings. Like in notifications, you can use the flashlight to notify you of calls. You can also choose your favorite phones, icon packs, icon styles and a lot more directly in the display settings now. You can also force all the applications to full screen just in case some applications show that black border. And there is a lot more to explore here, so I'll leave it up to you guys to do it. One really interesting thing that I saw was in the gesture settings. So not only you get the lock screen gestures that we had in OxynOS, but you also get the quick tap gestures that are present in Pixel phones. And this is my favorite, which was possible with third party apps before, but this is even better. So you can basically double tap on the back of your phone to take a screenshot, access Google Assistant or play pause music. And if that is something you don't want to do, then you can open any application you want. All that with just double tap. By the way, don't try that gesture on this page and complain that it doesn't work. So go to any other screen and try it out as this page only checks and tells if the gesture works or not. So I really like all the features that are present here as we get most of the features from Pixel phones on this one. Now the next good feature that is there is the gaming mode which is also taken up a notch by some more features and you can find an additional game space option 
and this gives you some additional options like you see in the Oxygen OS. And these are very helpful just in case you miss those features. Apart from that, we also have that gaming mode from Pixel Phones that has the inbuilt FPS counter to keep a track of your BGMI frames. And we also have the 90 FPS support in BGMI as well on this particular room. Overall, the gaming performance on 90 FPS has been good to find so far. Though please don't expect it to run smooth on 90 FPS and in the short gaming sessions I had on it, I found it to be good enough for this device. And if you want better frames in longer sessions, stick to the smooth extreme settings at maximum, as it runs better for a longer period, though it depends on how long you play the game for and the casual gamers will do just fine with it. So I have to keep in mind the overall usage and not just the gaming. Apart from that, there are no major concerns and the device has been doing fine with all the applications and apps like Google Pay work just fine. Also there is no call recorder here, so you can try some third party applications for the same. Now about the battery life, which is also similar to what I got with other rooms, that is around 6.5 hours of screen on time with moderate usage, which I think is quite good. So if you really want to try Android 12 now, definitely give this a shot because it carries every other feature and performs quite well in day-to-day -day tasks and it won't trouble you with bugs here and there. Anyways, now let's see how you can install this ROM on your OnePlus Nord. So the process to install is very simple. Just follow me, alright, and don't miss out on any step. First up, you need an unlocked bootloader to install this one. And if you haven't done it till now, here is a card to that video. After that, you just have to download the zip file from the link in description area. And that contains your driver, image file as well as the ROM zip file. So just right click and extract the zip file that you have downloaded and this has everything for you. In short, the biggest zip file here is your ROM file and the image file is your recovery and you need the recovery file to install the ROM, as simple as that. So once this step is done, it's now time to connect your device in fast food mode with your PC. So to do that, just turn off your device. And after that, long press volume up, down and power key at the same time for like 4-5 to five seconds till you see this fast boot mode screen on your device. That means your device has booted to the fast boot mode. Now your device is ready to be flashed with the custom ROM. So just open the ROM folder that we downloaded in the first place and type CMD in the address bar and hit the enter button. So after that it will open the command prompt. Now in the command prompt type fast boot space devices. So this will give you some random number and this is basically the serial number of your device which means that you have connected your device successfully to your PC. But if this command displays nothing then you might have missed something above. Now in the command prompt type fastboot space boot space recovery dot img and press the enter key. After this your device will boot into this AEX recovery menu. Well done. Now just tap on the apply update option on your device and then click on apply from adb and now for the last step type adb space side load space and now drag and drop the zip file on your cmd and press the enter key or you can just type the name of file like adb space side load space name of the file and press the enter key this will start installing the rom on your device and it will be done in a few minutes so leave it alone for a few minutes till it completes and once it's done Disconnect your device, click on this back button on the top left corner and just select this format data or factory reset option and click on the factory reset option to basically format your internal storage. So once it's done, you are all set. Now tap on the back button again and click on this reboot system option. So this was a short way to flash Android 12 based nameless ROM on your OnePlus Nord. And if you end up liking this video, make sure to press that like button and tap on that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.